everyone welcome back to my channel my name is naomi amber if you're new go ahead and do what everybody asks you to do on youtube and subscribe to their channel trust me you don't want to miss out and i know you guys don't know me yet but you will and trust me you won't regret it but for the people that are returning thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel love you guys anyway today we are going to be doing a hundred dollar styling challenge so i'm at the mall right now and we're going to be doing forever 21 i thought it was a good place to start i haven't shopped shopped at forever 21 since like high school like really like did like a cool little shopping spree i'm interested to see what they have now um i have my sister here with me she is tired of me because we've been running around all day but nonetheless i'm really really excited so i'm gonna spend max a hundred dollars and hopefully i can find some really nice pieces and show you guys how i style them and i'm really excited and you guys will see how i style them on my instagram and my twitter so make sure you follow me <laughs> there um but yeah i just wanted to introduce the the this portion of the video so this portion is going to be vlog style and then the next portion is going to be me styling it um but before i put my mask on i wanted to talk to you guys and let y'all know what is going on period um but yeah do you have anything to say look at this really cute candle holder all right I'm put my mask on let's go but it's so dark let's get into the lighter areas come with me the lighting is that one okay i'm trying to figure out where forever 21 is your mouth's shaky Maybe because I'm walking and recording. Well, you can try and hold it straight. Do I want to? Don't think I do. <laughs> oh my god, I'm that person in the mall. I should fake accent, right? You don't gotta ask everybody. Oh, he's not buying anything. He's in front of Cookie House. Yo, bro, yo, bro. I, I can ask you a question, bro. No, bro. No. Hi. Would you rather have a gay son or a thought daughter? You have 30 subscribers. We are lost. <laughs> Get the camera. <laughs> Bro, how close are you? I don't know. Pretty close. It's a bad guy. Ah, uh, did it. That's <laughs> this. That's how you bad guy. All right. We are almost there. Now that I actually have to look in the store. Back in the car, finished shopping. The total came out to 108, but if y'all really that pressed about it, y'all can cash at me that eight dollars. But um, I think I got a solid like four or five good outfits. So we're going to get into the styling portion of this a little later. We're back in the car, got some food. Um, there was something else I was gonna say. I totally forgot. But thoughts? This was pretty challenging, like to find like clothing items under a hundred dollars like of course i found some great stuff but for me i had to be really practical and really like girl are you gonna wear that and 
is this gonna look right do you have stuff that you can pair with this in your closet like that's how I had to think and I feel like this is like a great challenge to like be more resourceful and be just better with my shopping and not just buy things just to buy things and buy things that I know I'm gonna be able to wear and know that I'm going to be going to be able to wear multiple times to get my money's worth so definitely do highly recommend if you guys want to do like this challenge yourselves um, but this will be a series on my channel and we will be doing this at a couple different stores so comment down below which stores you want me to do this for I can go in store I can do online whatever y'all like but I kind of like the vlog style and you know going out into the stores because I think that's a little fun but yeah I don't think I have anything else to say so we are now in a part two of this video this $100 styling challenge um featuring a forever 21 um, like I said, this is my first time actually shopping shopping in Forever 21 in a long time because last time I shopped there I was a child <laughs> I was a adolescent. <laughs> so I'm really excited to show you guys how I styled these pieces. I tried them on yesterday Um, and they came out bomb like I'm really not disappointed It's in part my little tiny ability to style pieces to make them look better Um, and just have that eye that vision, but let me stop chatting let's get into the outfit so first things first we have this dress um i just got this because i thought it was cute and it was nine dollars nine dollars it also buttons um all the way up i have it um a little open a little more revealing um because i just think it's sexy like that and chocolate is really in as you guys know this chocolate color this brown color is really in i got my matching Crunchy. But I will show you guys on the side this dress in full so you guys can see the whole everything. All that it's gonna give, all that it's giving. But it just has these brown buttons on them. And like I said, I opened it so the buttons are definitely ones that are functional. Um and I think this is cute. It's a calm, you know, little staple, little basic in your closet. And it was nine dollars, so yeah, I had to get it. <laughs> but let's move on to the next item. So I got this beige colored um button down in a large i got it because i wanted to wear it as a dress but it actually doesn't fit me as a dress but that's fine because i'm just gonna wear shorts underneath um for the fit that i had in mind you guys will see like i think i i low-key low-key kind of snap yeah, it's just this button down top and it also has puff sleeves which i didn't realize until i tried them on yeah it has puff sleeves and it also has these buttons going down the back i decided to pair this with a black corset and corsets are really easy to come by like you can get them off of amazon i just paired it with this corset that i got from pretty little thing i believe um and this makes the outfit look so like so chic I, wait till y'all see wait till y'all see how i finessed it and i just paired it with these um high knee black boots chef's kiss so like the I next item that i got i actually got this um gray sweater dr sweater vest thing um it's oversized i really wish they had a small but i really made this work i literally just tied a scrunchie in the back um to make the fit look right this sweater vest style is really in right now and i just paired this with this um white button down top that i got from Miss guided um in the summer um you can't really see or tell what it looks like right now but you guys will see in the try on portion which i'll enter on the side and let's like what do y'all think like, i like this oh and then with the gray vest in the store me and my sister were debating if these boots would look nice um because the grays don't totally match but we thought like you know maybe we can go for like a little monochromatic moment um so these are the boots that we got and they were on sale these were 19 dollars. they are so so nice i cannot wait to style this outfit like y'all will see and next we just have this set that i got in the store i don't know if these are meant to be a set but i found them and they're the same exact print but they were in different spots in the store don't know why but i just got this skirt in an extra small and it's just this snake print skirt mini skirt um hopefully i can get some wear out of this in different instances as opposed to this set because you can definitely wear this by itself um, and the extra small fits me really really well and I got the top to go with it the top I had got in a small That's the only size that they had in the store I wish it came in an extra small but the way that I plan to wear this It's really not gonna matter because I plan to wear it with I plan to wear it with this cream a sherpa jacket that I got from Shein, which is in my last um, One of my last videos. Yeah, definitely y'all will see and I got and I paired it with these cream boots that I got from Zara mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. And in terms of like my favorite outfits so far, it has to be the the snake print one and the gray one. And the okay, all of them are kind of my favorite. Let's move on to the next and final item. And lastly, I just got this jacket, this denim Sherpa jacket. Um, unfortunately, this will not be styled in this video because I do not know what to style this bad boy with. But I just could not leave her in the store. She is just entirely too adorable. I couldn't. Like, she's too cute. I just don't know what to wear her with. So if you guys have any suggestions, any comments, feel free to DM me on Instagram or Twitter. Because I would love to know how to style this. I've been on Pinterest like crazy trying to figure it out. But I haven't yet. So... If y'all got any tips or tricks for me, let your girl know. But that concludes the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This little $100 challenge. I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. I thought it was so fun. It was definitely challenging and it really pushed me to think um, outside of my fashion box and also be very reasonable and resourceful in terms of what I'm purchasing in the stores because sometimes you just buy things just to buy things. But... Are you really gonna wear it and are you really gonna have something to go with it in your closet and i think that's the main reason of this challenge so definitely excited to do more of these i hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below which one was your favorite outfit um and i will see you guys in my next video bye